is Karen at Karen Schultz Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to make a scalloped and an eyelet border. We'll start by creating a new blank document, and I have already created a 3600 by 3600 pixel document with a white background, but you can use whatever size document you like. Press the letter D to reset the color chips to the default of black over white. Go ahead and click on the Create a New Layer icon, and then double click on the title of the blank layer and rename it Eyelet. Now the instructions for Adobe Photoshop in Elements are just a little bit different. So I'm going, I'm working in Elements uh, 2021 today and the Adobe Photoshop instructions are in the PDF manual. So in Photoshop, we'll open the tool options and then open the brush picker and we're going to choose a hard round brush. Those are found in the default brushes. If you do not see default brushes, click on the stem pointing arrow and it should be right there at the top. We're going to choose a brush. Let's just go ahead and choose any brush because we're going to, any hard round brush, because we're going to go ahead and set the size here to 100 pixels. So you can use the slider or I'm just going to type in the uh, percentage there. We want to leave the opacity at 100%, the mode to normal, and then click on the brush settings panel, or brush settings to open the panel, and set the spacing to 90, uh, 90%. Again, you can drag the slider if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and type it in. Again, you can choose any size brush you want here, but for this tutorial, I am using a 100 uh, pixel brush. The eyelet layer should be the active layer in your layers panel, but if it's not, go ahead and click on it to make it active. Press and hold the shift key, position your brush on the far left edge of the document, and then click and drag your brush across the width of the document. Holding down the shift key ensures that you draw a straight line. Now you've created a scalloped border. You can layer this under paper or use it as it is. Go ahead and trim the transparency and save the border so that you can use it over and over again. To trim it, you go ahead and turn the background off and then just go to Image, Crop, and you can go ahead and crop your image however you like. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag these down here. That looks good. Click the check mark to commit and then just go file save as and go ahead and give your file a name. I'm going to go control Z to undo that because I want to go ahead and work on the eyelet now. Let me bring this over just a little bit better so you can see it. So in the layers panel we need to create another new layer so I'll click on the new layer icon and double click on the title and name it center. I'm going to go ahead and leave the background off just so it's easier to see what we're going to do. Press the letter X on your keyboard to switch the color chips and now we have a white foreground and a back black background. Leave all the brush settings the same with the following two exceptions. Reset your brush size to exactly half the size that you originally used. So since I used a 100 pixel brush before, I'm going to uh, click on the brush tool to get that brush, and then I'm gonna change this to 50. And then in the brush settings, we need to multiply the spacing by two. So if we use 90%, which we did before, we need to change this to 180%, and then just click to close the tool options. We want to position our brush in the on the new layer in the center of that first dot of the eyelet. And if it's not exact, don't worry, we can fix it later. Hold down the shift key and drag to the right. And once you're finished, release the shift in your mouse key. I'm going to bring this up so you can see it. Grab the move tool and use the arrow keys on your keyboard just to nudge those dots into the center of your eyelet layer. That looks pretty good. The next, hit control, press control, and the thumbnail of the center layer. 
Sometimes it's a little hard to get that, but now you see the marching ants. Once you see the marching ants, go ahead and click on your eyelet layer, press the delete key on your keyboard, and then turn off the vis visibility of the center and control D to deselect. And now you have your pretty eyelet that you can save and use again. I recommend applying a solid color, a gradient. You can apply a layer style to this. You can click a, clip a paper to the eyelet. And you can also use blend modes to um, blend your eyelet into your background. There are just a ton of things that you can do with this. Here's an example of using the scallop with the solid color with a gradient. This is with a watercolor style. In this layer, I clicked, uh, clipped a paper to the scallop, and this layer is blended into this yellow background. And here's a card that my creative team member, Renee, created using my greeting card template 01. She created the scallop and she clipped the background paper to the scallop so it matches perfectly and it's so pretty. So that's how you create a scalloped and an eyelet border. Please leave a comment below if you enjoyed this tutorial and press the subscribe button so you don't miss any tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching.